Welcome to another bonus edition of Upon Further Review. And in this edition, we'll be talking about the Miami Dolphins at the New England Patriots. And you can catch this Week 15 matchup on December 14th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And that will be aired on your local CBS affiliates. So this is Upon Further Review. And what we're doing, we got the Madden gameplay and bringing you the highlights while I do the upon further review going over the numbers for this game and I'm taking the Patriots so in the game I played as the Patriots against the Dolphins these are the highlights that you're watching and I'm gonna go over the statistics and the numbers for these two teams the Dolphins are seven and six heading into this game the Patriots are ten and three so the Patriots have a three game lead over the Dolphins and if they win this game then the Patriots will actually they if they win and if the Bills lose the Patriots clinch the AFC East so the Dolphins they've got to win to stay alive because there's only three games left and both of those teams trail the Patriots by three games and so far on the season let's go over the schedule for both of these two teams and they started off in week one going against each other this is the rematch from week one and in week one it was in Miami and the Dolphins won that game by 13 points they won pretty handily at that point everybody was talking about oh the Patriots are done and da 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 but uh, the Dolphins then in week two they went to Buffalo they lost that game then they hosted the Chiefs, and they lost that one pretty decisively as well. In week four, though, they went to Oakland. They got their record to 500 in September. They had their bye week in week five. Then in week six, they ended up hosting the Packers. They almost won that game against Green Bay, but a late touchdown to Corliss from Aaron Rodgers ended up getting the Packers to victory by just three points. So a real close one there against Green Bay. Then in Week 7, they went to Chicago. They beat the Bears in Soldier Field by double digits. Then they did the same to Jacksonville, going on the road in Week 8. Then in Week 9, they finished up their three-game winning streak with a win against the Chargers that was in Miami. They shut them out. Very impressive win. And that was three in a row in the win column. So things were looking really good at that point. But then in Week 10, they went to Detroit, and they lost a real tight defensive battle. It was close. They lost by just four points. They almost pulled that one off, but they lost. And then on Thursday Night Football, they had the rematch against their division rivals, the Bills. And this time it was in Miami, and this time the Dolphins would win. But then in Week 12, they went to Denver, and they lost a close game. They lost by just three points. You know, uh, pretty impressive to go to Denver and to only lose by three points. They put up a lot of points on that defense, too. But um, then in week 13, they ended up going to New York. They beat the Jets. It was actually uh, a very close game. On Monday Night Football, it came down to a field goal. They actually had to come from behind. But they won that one. But then last week, at home against the Ravens, they ended up losing that game. They needed to win it, but they lost. And that was one they really couldn't afford to lose, but they did. And now it's come down the wire. They only got three games left. And it's New England this week in Foxborough. But then they finish up with two games at home. Of course, those are two games they should win, but you never know what happens. They really needed to win that one against the Ravens. And of course, the you know they've lost three out of the last five, and that's kind of hurt their playoff hopes. But the Patriots, they're firing all cylinders. They did start off in Week One with that loss against the Dolphins, but in Week Two they bounced back with a win against the Vikings in Minnesota. Then in Week Three they hosted the Raiders. It was actually a close game, but they ended up pulling off the victory. Then in week four, they end up going to Kansas City on Monday Night Football, and they got blown out by the Chiefs. And at that point, the Patriots were 2-2. Two and two. Everybody was talking about, oh, you know, the dynasty's done. But boy, were they wrong. That was just what the Patriots needed. To, that was the spark they needed. They needed people to doubt them. They needed to be underdogs. They played better with a chip on their shoulder. 
and after that big loss, they then went on a seven game winning streak. Let's start off with a blowout win against the Bengals on Sunday Night Football. Then in week six, they went to Buffalo, they beat the Bills. Then they had three home games, first on Thursday Night Football against the Jets. It was actually a close game against the Jets. They only won by two points. Then they hosted the Bears. They blew them out the water, 51-23. to And then they hosted the Denver Broncos, Brady versus Manning, 16. And the Patriots won by 22 points. Brady had 333 yards in that game pass, and... They had their bye week, and then they went against the Colts in Indianapolis, and they beat them by 22 points. Jonas Gray had 201 yards in that game. Of course, we haven't really seen sighted Jonas Gray since, but I have a feeling we just might see Jonas Gray against the Dolphins, possibly. We shall see, though. But then in uh, Week 12, against the Lions in Foxborough, they beat up on the Lions. They beat them by 20. 325 points so and 23 points no 25 points anyway they beat them up 34 to 9 then they went to Green Bay they lost to the Packers by just five points it was a tight game they almost pulled it off a couple plays here a couple plays there were the difference it was a couple big plays and the Packers made the clutch plays when they had to and they pulled off the victory. Of course, there's no shame in losing to the Packers in Lambeau Field. In Week 14, though, they went on the road. And once again, a second straight road game in San Diego. Sunday Night Football, Patriots win. It was a tight one. Not so much, but they, you know, nine points. It was an interesting game. And uh, Brady had 317 yards in that one. LeGarrette Blunt in the last three games has been really getting all the main carries ever since they picked him up off of waivers. Well, the Steelers dropped him. No one claimed him, and the Patriots ended up getting him. But now they got Miami, and this is the rematch. It's in Foxborough. And they've got to avenge that early season loss to the Dolphins, and I definitely think they will. This is one that's just about as sure a thing as there gets in football. I actually expect the Patriots to blow out the Dolphins. It might be close because they are division rivals, so maybe it will be a close game, but I think that the Patriots probably end up beating them by double digits and avenging that loss in Miami Gardens earlier in the season back in September in Week 1. But let's look at the numbers for these two teams. When it comes to passing proficiency, the Dolphins are 23rd in the NFL in passing yards per game. The Patriots are 7th. So the Dolphins, they struggle to pass the ball. They've got a lot of talent at receiver, but they're not really a, a passing team. The Patriots, on the other hand, they have one of the greatest, if not the greatest, quarterback of all time in Tom Brady. And he's got Gronkowski to throw to a tight end, and he's got some pretty decent receivers. Bobby LaFell, Brian LaFell. Actually, and uh, as well as Julian Edelman, it's been the main target. Of course, LaFell and Edelman, and then also uh, there's Amendola. Amendola hasn't been doing so much. But looking at the past defense, the Dolphins are third in the NFL when it comes to defending the pass. The Patriots are 17th. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, the Dolphins up against the Patriots, that matchup of Tom Brady up against the Dolphins, pass rush and secondary. They are some ball hawks. You know, Brent Grimes has got to watch out for, along with everybody else. Cameron Wake is a monster. He comes after you, puts on the pressure. The Patriots, their uh, numbers against the pass are kind of middle of the road. But the thing is, is with the Patriots, is uh, they'll tend to sometimes let up some yards, but they don't let up a lot of points. But either way, the advantage goes to the Patriots in the passing game. Then we look at the running numbers. And when it comes to running on the ground, rushing yards, the Dolphins are 12th in the NFL. The Patriots are 19th. And so the Dolphins are pretty good at running the ball, although they've actually been slipping. The Dolphins were a top 10 running team, but they, you know, so many injuries, it's tough for them to 
keep you know having success on the ground. Of course, they lost you no know, Sean Moreno earlier in the year, and uh, you know Lamar Miller has been banged up on and off. We'll see, you know, uh, how you know he's been back. We'll see how he does in this game against the Patriots. But you know, uh, the Patriots, their running attack has kind of been rejuvenized with Legarrette Blunt now. They've also had issues with injuries, like with Stephen Ridley. They weren't really running the ball as much, but they did prove in Indianapolis that they can run the ball. That 200-yard game Jonas Gray had, he had four touchdowns in that one as well. We look at running defense. The Dolphins' run defense is 22nd in the NFL. The Patriots is 11th. So the Patriots match up pretty well against the Dolphins' running attack. The you know run defense of the Patriots is more their strength. Of course, part of that is is they'll tend to get into games where they'll force teams to play from behind and have to pass. You know, and that's also why they have so many yards that they allow on the pass. But the Dolphins on defense, the run defense cannot stop the run. Even though the Patriots have had their you know struggles in the running game, but the numbers don't exactly you know bear out what they are at the moment and how they're running the ball right now. But I would actually you know uh, I'd give a slight edge. It's almost the push. Can I give the Dolphins a little bit of an edge when running the ball? Although I think the Patriots, you know, uh, had the edge the way these two teams are playing now. Like, I think the Dolphins, although on paper, statistically speaking, they have a slightly better running, you know, uh, game. They would be in their favor, but they've been regressing and the Patriots have been improving. And so I kind of really think that the Patriots are actually the, have more of an advantage there. You could call it a push, and if you really wanted to, you could say, oh, the Dolphins, technically speaking, statistically speaking, do have the better running, you know, attack and, and the way it all matches up. But let's look at the numbers for the scores, points scored per game. The Dolphins are 12th in the NFL, and the Patriots are 3rd in putting points on the board. So the Patriots pretty much score at will. There's only two teams who put up more points than them. That's the, the Packers and the Colts. So they're just putting up numbers, no problem. You know, they like said so they score it well. You can't stop Brady. And when they get going, you know, there's no stop in the Patriots. They can put up 50 if they want to. The Dolphins, on the other hand, they can score, but they don't necessarily put up so much. They are, you know, kind of... They're better than some teams. They're kind of like the least of the good teams or the best of the mediocre teams when it comes to scoring. The, you know, their strength really lies on their defense and their points against. The Dolphins are seventh when it comes to points allowed. The Patriots are ninth. So the Dolphins, they do you know allow a lot of yards on the ground, but they don't allow yards through the air, and they don't allow yard uh, points. They don't allow touchdowns on the scoreboard. But the difference between them and the Patriots is only a half a point when it comes to points allowed. Patriots are ninth. They're right there with them. They also are not letting up a lot of points. They don't let teams really get in the end zone. They force teams to kick field goals. And, you know, uh, you see with the Patriots, I mean, when... They're hitting on all cylinders. They'll just blow a team out. Their defense will shut teams down. Their offense will just dominate the time of possession and the game clock and keep putting up points, and that's the key to success. If you can keep the other team's offense off the field, then you're going to win. And of course, the Dolphins, they're going to need to have success on the ground if they're going to hope to have any chance of beating the Patriots in this game, but I really give them next to no chance. I think the Patriots are going to end up winning this one by double digits. And uh, with the scoring, the Patriots have the favor there. So statistically speaking, the Patriots have the advantage through the air and on the scoreboard. Whereas the Dolphins, the running game is more to their favor. Although really the way these teams are playing right now, it's really Patriots all the way. And so... You know, it's, I would be shocked 
if the Dolphins were able to pull out a win in Foxborough, I really, the, like, there's no way they're going to sweep the Patriots, especially like I said, the way the Patriots are playing. They caught them early in week one. They were able to get that win. You know, it's kind of a fluke. At that point, you know, the Patriots weren't, they hadn't gelled, you know, week one. You know what I mean? And anything that really happens in September, it doesn't really necessarily carry the weight. You know, teams are still in the process of finding their identity. And if you look at even, you know, the teams that are playing the best right now, they got, you know, losses in September <laughs> similar to that. Although the Dolphins are a good team, they got a really good defense. And, you know, they got a pretty, they got a lot of talent on offense, too. You know, injuries have hurt them. Injuries have affected the Patriots, too, but the Patriots are just the best coach team in football. And injuries can't slow them down because they got, it's the system. They got another guys to step in. No matter who goes down, there's always somebody. And they'll plug in people. You see them picking up guys that other teams aren't finding any use for. The Patriots put them on their team. Next thing you know, they're getting big numbers and helping them win more games. So I think the Patriots win. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think the Patriots win? Do you think the Dolphins win? Do you think the Patriots will clinch the AFC East? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want more content such as this, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day and a great weekend. And enjoy all the sports.